Hello friends! Are you looking for steps to create different user accounts on a Mac PC? Let's go ahead and see how it can be done. Click the Apple menu and select System Preferences from the menu that opens. Click Users and Groups and then click the lock icon to unlock it. Type your administrator name and password and then click Unlock. To add a user, in Users and Groups Preferences, click the Add Plus button below the list of users. Choose the type of user you want to create from the New Account pop-up menu. Type a full name for the new user. An account name is generated automatically. To use a different account name, enter it now. You can't change it later. Enter a password for the user, then enter it again to verify. Using a password hint is recommended to help the user remember his or her password. Click Create User. For an administrator, select the checkbox next to Allow User to Administer This Computer. For a child or other managed user, select the checkbox next to Enable Parental Controls. Click Open Parental Controls link and then set up restrictions for the user. To create a group, click the Back button to go back to Users and Groups Preferences window and then click the Add Plus button below the list of users. Choose Group from the New Account pop-up menu. Give the group a name and then click Create Group. Check the boxes next to the users you want to add to the new group. To customize the login experience, if you are an administrator, you can specify how the login windows looks to all the other users. In Users and Groups Preferences window, click on Login Options. From the Automatic Login pop-up menu, you can choose any one of the users or just disable it by selecting Off. If you choose a user, then whenever the Mac starts up, that user is automatically logged in. Automatic login takes effect the next time you restart the Mac. If you choose Off, then at startup, the Mac opens a login window showing all the users. To convert a standard user to an administrator, select a standard user or managed user from the list of users, and then select Allow user to administer this computer. Click on Yes to confirm. To let occasional users log in as guests, in the Users and Groups Preferences window, select Guest User from the list of accounts. Select Allow guests to log in to this computer. To let guests use your shared folders from another computer on the network, select Allow guests to connect to shared folders. Wasn't that helpful? Thanks for watching.